for the fall transitional outfits. A few accessories I bought this month. The best perfume I'm going to wear this fall. And of course more about And Just Like That. welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good you look good so on this channel I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best it's almost a time of year when you don't know if it's gonna be hot or cold and you have to be able to bring your outfit from day to night when it's usually cooler the first outfit that I really want to touch upon is this one from Atlantic Pacific and I have spoken about her so many times at nausea she does color so well even though this is in neutral colors but she just gets it right every time so if you watch my trend video you know that pinstripes were all over the run so these pinstripe pants are just perfect for this year's fall fashion I love that she paired the pinstripes with a blue striped shirt and it's just so classic and I love the little bit of print in the shirt and in the pants it's not too much but it does give the outfit a bit of depth this is perfect for those days when we're not sure it's going to be too cold you still have to go to the office you can still wear sandals with this right because you walk with your blazer because the cool fall air is slowly running in so i did find a few pinstripe pants similar to this this one from Revolve and this one from Express would do the trick. But if you are doing your debt and you prefer a lighter pair of pants, these from Dish will give you a very similar look, but in a different color. If this is already your style, it's very possible that you already have a blue shirt and it doesn't have to be striped, right? It can just be a plain blue button up collar shirt. But if you don't, J. Crew, Banana Republic, and Gap, who are known for this type of look, definitely have options. So these sunglasses, I don't know exactly what they are, but they are a very cool pair of aviators. I was recently looking at these YSL pair of sunglasses from Bloomingdale's for $460. However, if you are not new here, you know that I love to search for a deal. I found the same exact sunglasses here for $360 about, and then here for about $250. I've ordered from both of these websites, so I can tell you that it is legit. And it definitely gives the same vibe as the sunglasses that she is wearing in this photo. If you are truly transitioning and are totally into the trends, you can wear a silver pair of sandals or heels with this. Any of these sandals in silver will do. And at this point, most of us should have a white blazer. I myself have a few because <laughs> they're all different cuts. Believe me, I need all of them, okay? But if you don't have a white blazer, this one from the Frankie Shop, this one from Bloomingdale's, this one from Naked Fashion, and this one from H&M will give you a very similar vibe. Tracy Ellis Ross is one of those fashion icons that lives rent free in my head. I love everything she does, even when our style differs, which is quite often, but even when our style differs, I still feel like she just knocks it out of the park. This is a very calm, cool, and relaxed vibe, which is very on trend for 2023. But I love that she added this brilliant, rich green. Bloomingdale's, J. Crew, Club Monaco, and even these from Totem on sale will give you a very similar vibe to what she's wearing. And then she's wearing these ASICs, which I cannot find anywhere, but a great substitute are these Sambas with the green stripe. Very, very similar, extremely cute. Of course, she has on this Bottega bag, which we all know and love. But if you want this look but don't want to spend Bottega money, try this from Mansour Gabrielle. I have three of these purses, a bigger version, and I love all of them. I'm looking for a smaller version. This one's on sale in this beautiful green color. And if that's still too much, try this one from Steve Madden. And a white shirt, t-shirt with green graphics is not too hard to find. You can try this one from Essence, this one from Bloomingdale's, and even this one from Ghani. Throw on your coolest pair of tortoiseshell glasses and you're out the door. So 
we know that Blazers have been very oversized for the past few seasons, but I told you that we are going to see blazers that are cropped and we are going to see blazers that are more tucked in at the waist. This is a beautiful example of how to reuse the blazers you already have in your closet. Beautiful woman used a belt and tucked in her blazer at the waist. This is such a great office outfit and very easy to create. Naked, Koss, and Nordstrom all have good options for the blazer. Aritzia has a very similar skirt, pleated skirt, has a two-tier level <laughs> skirt type of effect. Or you could just get this skirt from ASOS that's just a beautiful, regular pleated skirt. And as far as leopard shoes go, you could go anywhere from Anima Rawadi to Sam Edelman. They all have great options for a leopard pair of heels. Throw on a light brown bag that I'm sure you already have in your closet. Like this one from Pauline is beautiful. And then you are on your way. Referencing my trend video when I spoke about how white shirts or white button-down shirts are really going to be a more standout piece and we're playing more with basics this fall, this is a perfect example. A lot of times when you hear basic pieces, you don't think about styling it in this particular way. I love that she took very basic pieces and added a bit of edge. So this could have looked much differently with a pair of straight leg jeans, but I love that she took a pair of long denim shorts that looked like they could have been cut, right? Paired it with a pair of chunky boots, some really cool sunglasses, and was set. There's something so simple about this outfit, but also extremely cool. You probably already have an oversized white shirt in your closet, but if you don't, this one from Totem is on sale. The Essex sale has been killing me lately. <laughs> But if you want this shirt, it's on a ridiculous sale. Cause is always a great place to get these white shirts. And if that's still too much, of course you could always go to H&M. There are plenty of options out there for a denim short, a long denim short. But me personally, if I were to do this, I would definitely thrift a pair of oversized jeans and distress and cut them myself. And as far as chunky boots go, if this is your style and you've made it this far, you already have a pair of chunky boots, right? But these from Ghani are a good option. These from Banana Republic make it a little bit more sophisticated and not as cool, but still a similar vibe. And obviously, and of course, you can always go the Bottega route. This outfit is so 90s, but also very 70s. When I was growing up in the 90s, this is something I would have worn because I wanted to look like I was in the 70s. So this is actually something I would probably wear today. And you cannot recreate this outfit without having a wide leg pair of jeans. These jeans I've talked about at nauseum from Spanx. I love these Spanx jeans. Go check them out. But if you really don't want to do that, you can try these from the Frankie shop or these from Bloomingdale's. These from Neiman Marcus are for the coolest people that I know I can't pull off, but I know I could really see a very cool person just strutting through New York wearing these jeans. And of course you could get a very similar blazer from like Cause or H&M, right? But if you want this kind of vintage kind of look, again, I'm going to suggest you go and thrift, right? You can go to any thrift store and buy an old man's blazer and dry clean it and put it with this outfit. That same blue shirt that we used earlier on can be still worn with this outfit. Now she has on Converse, which is not my favorite. They hurt my feet. I don't know why Converse do. I have a fairly flat feet, so I have to be careful. But Converse, you obviously can wear anywhere, but I would probably go with the Sambas just because for me, they give me a little bit more support. And this bag is an Hermes bag, and you and I know that that costs a pretty penny, right? But if you want something very similar, but a very good quality, that's still not cheap, try this bag. They come in different colors. Like I said, they're not cheap, but they are considerably cheaper than anything from Hermes, right? It's very cute. It's still a very good quality bag, and it's a extremely similar vibe. I actually forgot to add this, but I still wanted to talk about it because it's so easily recreatable. 
The jean jacket that she has on is Prada. The shoes that she has on are Chanel. And of course, she's wearing the Bottega bag. But if you want this look for a much cheaper price, you can get this denim, what they call lady jacket from J. Crew. You can get these very similar ballet flats from Steve Madden. And of course, add any bag. I decided to add the Pauline bag, but any black bag will do. So transitioning from summer to fall is not going to be too bad. You probably have a lot of things in your closet, so you probably don't need to shop too much. But just to give you some outfit ideas, right? Because I feel like it's always hard to get out of one season mentality to the next. You just kind of slowly transfer. Speaking of slowly transferring, there are a few fragrances that I cannot wait to wear this fall. This is probably my most worn fall and winter fragrance. It is kind of unisex, but it definitely leans more feminine in my opinion. It's spicy, it's warm, it's woody. It is absolutely beautiful. Someone on Fragrantica said that they get ylang, ylang vanilla, and some spices. A bit of fruit as well. Lasting power is excellent, not beast mode, but you still smell it after a couple of hours. It's more suited for fall, winter, and possibly spring. And I have to agree, it is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. If you are a gourmand lover, you have got to get your nose on Scherzhoff Lyra and Scherzhoff Italica. It is just smells like a uh, warm fun. <laughs> so somebody on Fragrantica said that it's beautiful vanilla sponge cake with a lemon drizzle. The citrus note that lasts five seconds on me, then I smell like a yummy cake throughout. The dryer down is caramel, vanilla, and some jasmine on me. This lasts well on my skin. Love this and I need the full bottle. This is really for the person who doesn't really want to smell too much like food and they also don't want to smell strong. Erin Amber Musk is just a very pretty scent. Someone on Fragrantica said, this is really pretty elegant must, perfect for work. I would have liked a little more longevity and I will agree, it's not the most long lasting fragrance, but when you layer it with the soap and the lotion and everything else, it is an absolute stunner. There hasn't been a time that I worn this and had not gotten a compliment. It is warm and green and just a very unique vanilla. This person says that it's their new love. It's regal, it's classy, and they were tempted to reserve it for a special occasion, but definitely wanted to get more wear out of the scent. It deserves its time in the sunlight or moonlight. It's a must have for fragrance lovers in search of a unique vanilla that are sure to bring lots of attention and compliments. This is somehow really warm, but also a bit fruity. It doesn't have the best staying power, but when I do wear it, it's absolute dreams. So this person says, I really like it. It's lovely and pleasant, fruity and airy. Would be a good casual scent with just a hint of naughtiness. At this point in time, I find this more appealing than Delina, but perhaps Delina will grow on me. And while I don't compare this to Delina, I have to say, I love this just as much. I put these two in here because I know that all the other fragrances were pretty warm and these are beautiful, fresh fall fragrance. Bol de Afrique is a crowd favorite and Mojave Ghost just is just so pleasant. So if you don't like warm scents, but you love a little fresh scent, try these two.
so there are a few things that I bought in August that I want to show you not too much but there are a few accessories that that I am just very excited to have. So if you watch this video, you know that I was looking through Mango and I came across a pair of beautiful, over the top, <laughs> silver bow heels. And I talked myself out of these so many times because like these are so extra, you know? And I'm like, what are you gonna do with them? I'm gonna wear them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear them. I think it's perfect for the rest of the summer and into the transitional period. I think it's perfect for New Year's and Christmas and the holidays. My husband is laughing at the really ridiculous size of this bow, but I also don't care. <laughs> I think that it is just so beautiful and a bit extra and a little fashion. I'm okay with it. I have not worn them yet. That's why I am holding them like this, but they are just over the top and glistening and beautiful. However I wear them, everything else is probably going to be relatively demure because these are a lot, but are you joking? <laughs> oh, I just, and what I love really is that the heel height is not too much. I could definitely walk in them for a while. I'm just so happy to have it. And as you know, metallic is a huge thing this year. In order for me to walk in them, I do have to like, <laughs> put the bow up a little bit because if I leave the bow down, I will definitely trip. But yeah, they're dramatic. I know they're not for everybody, but I absolutely, absolutely adore them. You also heard me talk about these ballerina flats from Tory Burch. I wanted to try them, okay? I do have these from Mango and I have worn them um, and I wanted to try them. If I'm being honest, I was looking at the Chanel pair and they do cost a grip. <laughs> but I don't know how often or how much wear I'm gonna get out of them because it's been so long since I've worn a ballet flat. But I did get these. I'm gonna see how I style them. I think to me it just makes sense to get a more affordable pair than a very expensive pair if I don't know exactly how I'm gonna wear it. But these are, in my opinion, a better way to wear the Tory Burch flats as opposed to the old school ones. These are a bit more updated. They are very sweet, aren't they? <laughs> They're a very sweet shoe. I know that's not everyone's style, which is also fine. To even it out and kind of add some juxtaposition, I would probably wear these with something that's a little bit more masculine, right? Maybe something denim, like a denim shirt. I mean, I guess I could wear it with a slip dress, but just, I don't know, I'm gonna play with it and I'll let you know. I'm trying to sit, think if I should go all the way dainty or if I should add some juxtaposition. I'll let you know. But I did get them and I did wanna show you. So the last two things that I wanna show you are my absolute favorite. If you are not new here, you know that I am a boot girl and I will always be a boot girl. And these boots, oh my God, these boots from Saks Fifth Avenue are everything. I just, okay, so this is suede in the back, it's leather in the front, and it's just one of the most beautiful boots that I have worn in a while. When I ordered them, I didn't realize that they were um, a little over the knee, and they are but they don't look obnoxious. I'm lying. Okay, they might be They might be a little obnoxious. <laughs> they might be a little obnoxious. So however I wear them, everything else is probably gonna be a little bit more subdued. I think these are absolutely beautiful. They were on sale because y'all know I love a sale. Of course, I'm not gonna lie, they still cost a, a pretty penny, right? But they were on sale. And isn't that what really matters? I love these boots, I cannot wait to style them. Fall and winter, listen, I love the summer. My birthday's in the summer, my mama's birthday, my husband's birthday, my dad's birthday, my brother's birthday. It's just, the summer is a great time to celebrate, but fall, fall's a great time for fashion. And I just, mm, I love it, I cannot wait. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys these, and oh, it's a very similar Jimmy Choo pair that are a little bit more expensive, a lot more expensive, but I figured that these are just as beautiful and are on a ridiculous sale. So I kind of had to get them. So if you're kind of following fashion, you know that 
Pharrell has recently debuted the new Speedy in full leather and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's also supposedly supposed to be extremely expensive, right? So I have always wanted a Speedy. I've bought many other designer bags but have not bought a Speedy and I've always loved them. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I've been talking about getting a vintage Epi leather one. I feel like with the new Speedy coming out, there might be a resurgence <laughs> of this bag. So I wanted to get a Speedy before it got overpriced. And although I know a lot of us say that the Speedy doesn't go out of style because it's classic, and I would agree, it has not been at the forefront of fashion, right? So it hasn't been that expensive. Anyway, I decided to get a vintage Speedy epi leather from fashion file and i probably need to stuff it and get something to put in here to keep its shape but are you joking this is the speedy 30 this is something that my little 18 year old self 15 year old self would have loved okay i have always wanted a speedy this one is old this one is like 94 maybe so this is definitely a vintage purchase it was under a thousand dollars i am very much in my vintage bag era just because the quality of some bags have really just fallen off and i've always wanted a speedy but the canvas part of it kind of played with my mind even though i would probably still do it because i have I have canvas Louis Vuitton other things, right? After I graduated FIT and I've learned, I learned a lot about the industry, that canvas part just kind of threw me off. But anyway, I got, look at the shine on this. You have to say, I did have to condition the leather. It's a very old, almost 30 year old bag. So it was kind of ashy. <laughs> but after doing that, you can see that it is absolutely stunning. And it really goes in to with what's on trend this fall. I do want to get something to like polish up the brass hair, but this is just in beautiful shape. My teenage self would be screaming right now. <laughs> so I'm very happy to finally have my little black Epi Speedy. I have talked about the sleeper set being on sale before and I still love it. I'm really looking for the black, but I know they only have this pink and maybe a green color left. It's so cute. You have seen many of Influencer in this shirt and it is almost if not over $400. It is on sale for $210. So if you were looking at this shirt and didn't want to spend that much, here's your chance. This price for these Bottega sunglasses is amazing. I'm not saying you have to get this, but I mean, they're classic. They're absolutely great. If you can find a blazer this good on such a beautiful sale, you almost have to get it. I have this in my cart and I don't know how I'm not not going to get it, <laughs> but if you love it, it is there for you. When I first saw this, I somehow missed the one and thought it was $214 and immediately put it in my cart. <laughs> it is still a very good sale because it's almost three or $4,000. It's a beautiful coat though. So while this is a very good sale, I still realize that it is very steep for some people. I will put a dupe to this in the description box from H&M. It's not as dark, but it is very, very cute. So imagine this under a black blazer. This sheer material is definitely something that's trending that I haven't spoken about, but it's good. And this to go run errands, to go pick up your children, to run to Target is the perfect little hoodie, even for yoga. So last time we had a bit of a chin wag, as my dad would say. <laughs> we had a bit of a chin wag, right? About and just like that. I still have comments to get back to because we are all quite passionate about the characters and the fashion on the show. I love it. And I actually have some more thoughts about the fashion and the characters. I'm currently editing this video and I didn't realize how long this is. So we're going to make this very quick. First of all, and just like that, it's coming back for a third season. A lot of people have been complaining about it, but apparently we're all watching it. 
<laughs> so it is coming back. Apparently, it's like the most watched HBO Max reboot or something. I don't even know. All I know, it's coming back. And hopefully, it'll get better as the time goes on. I, myself, personally <laughs> am excited and I will continue to watch. So let's talk about a few things very quickly. Like I said, this video is super long. I'm trying to wrap it up. But first of all, what was the whole thing with Aiden? Surely he doesn't want her to wait for five years. Like, is he getting her back? For, like, I, I, tell me what you think about that. Because when he said, just wait for me until my son is not a teenager, what? what like I don't really understand why she can't go visit him stay in a hotel they don't even have to stay in the same in the same house like I know your kid comes first but I'm, I'm just confused <laughs> I'm confused because waiting for that long and I think she's like 55 or 50 <clears throat> she's in her mid 50s you want me to wait you want her to wait until she's in her 60s we got a cameo from Samantha, and though it was only 70-something seconds, <laughs> it was nice to see the old gal. It was nice to see her. Apparently, she got paid over a million dollars to do that little 71 or 70-something second scene, and I'm here for it. I'm so, so glad to see her. I know she's never coming back. I love Samantha for so many different things, and I do wish that she was on the show. I said this before. I miss her wittiness. I miss her fashion, but I understand <sighs> things must move on and that it's a different show. What I am thinking that I just absolutely hate about this show I, I was talking about Miranda before and how they just made her just not Miranda. It's very, very strange to me. Like, you know, bisexual, gay, straight, whatever she is, the fact that she let Che, like, treat her like that is wild. I feel like she gave her such a pass after she played her in um, the comedy club. I just... I, I just I don't understand it had that been old Miranda she would have not only cursed her out but she would have never even like I don't know she wouldn't entertain that so just to see Miranda smiling and laughing with Che I was like I was like we don't even like Che like that like why why are we doing it like ugh, I hate to see Miranda like this Miranda wasn't even my favorite and she was probably my least favorite but I just don't like her like this yeah I have to start ra wrapping this up but there's two things I want to talk about fashion wise this outfit here with Lisa and Charlotte I kind of love their friendship because they are so similar but very different even in their styles I just love them but this fuchsia jacket or coat that Lisa is wearing is Issey Miyake and are you joking I love the way that they did not shy away from color it's purple and yellow which are complementary colors we talked about that in my color video then she grounded it with a black hat because she could have used a yellow or a purple hat which might have made it look a little cheesy but instead they decided to ground it with a neutral color and I'm all in it's a beautiful ensemble contrasting to Charlotte's very uptown um, plaid classic look the contrast is stark but also so beautiful together I just I love these two together I love their friendship and I love their contrasting styles and then this coat that Miranda wore was everything I saw the coat and it reminded me of something else that I was looking at and I figured out it was this blazer. Sometimes you guys, a lot of times, I'm looking at very high-end clothing that I cannot afford right now. <laughs> so I do it very often. And I was just on Neiman Marcus looking at this blazer, this beautiful blazer from Oscar de la Renta. And if you're not new here, you know that Oscar de la Renta is one of my favorite. I just, something about um, the whole design is one of my favorite things just to look at and admire, especially the occasion wear. But when I saw the coat that Miranda was wearing, I was like, that looks so much like that blazer. And then when I searched it up, I found that it was. It's Oscar de la Renta and it's just gorgeous. Like I gagged, <laughs> I gagged. Find a dupe for that would be the ultimate find. I am on the hunt. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous coat. So yeah, that's my little takeaways. I have to wrap this up. There's one thing I wanna show you very quickly. Have you seen the new Coach 
purses. Introducing the Coach Shine Collection. Some of my favorite stand-up pieces definitely has to be the shrunken aviator shearling jacket. It has a very flattering cropped silhouette and this lovely sheen on it. Look at that. But the star of the show has to be this little tabby. The tabby 20 is also a new size. It's slightly bigger than the tabby wristlet and a little smaller than the tabby 26. It's the Goldilocks bag. It's just right. Also, if you smudge your eyeliner, just use the bag to touch it up. For a classy moment, you can put her right over here. You can wear her as a shoulder bag too. But wait, it has a crossbody strap as well. Et voila! Beyond metallics, we also have a couple patent pieces too. The new pen bag has the perfect shoulder drop length and it comes in these two beautiful vibrant colors. And they also come in black and silver. And this is what it looks like on. The Shine Collection also features a gorgeous refresh of the Lawrence heel, the Tilly, and the Leah Loafer too. A statement shoe is the perfect way to wear your shine. Let's try on the Coach Mirror Metallic Collection. This is the new pen shoulder bag. I love that long shoulder strap, really easy to throw on and go. The tabby wristlet is so cool in this mirror metallic leather. It comes with a wrist strap and also a long chain strap. I like to take my chain strap and double it under to make it fall a little shorter on my body. I'm so happy they made the tabby in the 20 size. I think it's the perfect size. And there's a little mirror metallic card case. It also comes with a crossbody strap. The Sammy 21 also comes in the mirror metallic leather. It has this top handle and it also comes with a long crossbody strap. Talk about it in another video, but Coach is really keeping up. I, I, I am just very happy with their rebrand. And then I was looking on Sam Edelman and they have some really cool dupes. If you're a person that liked the Chanel sparkly slingbacks but don't want to or have that money, they have some at Sam Edelman and they have a few things at Sam Edelman I'm going to show you actually that might be on the screen right now. <laughs> Hopefully I, t I can talk more about it in another video but I just wanted to bring it to your attention because things be getting sold out, child. They be getting sold out. Anyway, back to the video. Anyway, you guys, I completely appreciate how you are just going along the flow and are appreciating this switch of format. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. You guys have already given me some brilliant ideas. I'm so excited. Thank you for all the suggestions. Please keep them coming. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.